What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here uh, on this Halloween night. It is October 31st, 2023, about 10.15, uh, 10.13 p.m., somewhere around there. California time, latest activity at 1.1 here in the area of Southern California. We are lighting up slightly out here across the West Coast, as we can see on this map. From the USGS, so a little bit of movement taking place here across the plate boundary itself. And also down on the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, one earthquake down here in the Salton Sea. Uh, looks like this earthquake occurring earlier this afternoon. A 2.1 earthquake uh, underneath this area. It looks like about 6 miles or so below the surface. Uh, still seeing some movement up into the Pacific Northwest. Mount St. Helens. Still seeing some earthquake activity there. Uh, nothing changed yet as far as any... Uh, Adjustments, uh, a little bit of movement also around the Mountain Hood area uh, from earlier this afternoon time period, 2.5 and a couple other smaller quakes there across the region. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, I don't see a whole lot showing up here on the map, but let's just double check that real quick, see what we got. And then we'll move on. Really not seeing too much activity here. Uh, actually, I see one localized earthquake over here. Uh, looks like a little spike of an earthquake. See this? right here uh, this is around the eastern section of yellowstone national park and also what looks like maybe another earthquake over here separate uh, from that little earthquake uh, across the northwestern corner of yellowstone national park so a little bit of activity stirring up there today but uh, nothing big nothing major going on there the uh, super volcano out in texas outside of pecos texas quite a bit of activity stirring up here in the oil fields Got about 15 earthquakes or so in this area in the last 24 hours. Uh, let's see, we did have that pretty deep, uh, well, it wasn't deep, it was large though, 6.6 .6 here into the Peru Chile Trench uh, earlier this morning. It doesn't look like we've seen any adjustment following that activity, although a handful of smaller quakes look like they're uh, visible on the globe here. Uh, so continue to watch that area. Uh, did see some larger scale movement there in Fiji as well. That 6.5 over here on the opposite side of this plate. Uh, 6.5, 549 kilometers deep. That's a super deep earthquake. A little bit of adjustment right here across this plate boundary where I mentioned uh, this morning in the update this morning to be watchful uh, because the pressure gradients do build up here across this area. This is a little bit more closer to... Uh, uh, the deeper movement quake than I thought it would be. I'm still watching this area around the Solomon Islands here for some possible movement following that deeper activity this morning. Uh, 5.2, Papua New Guinea as well. Uh, let's see, not a whole lot going on far as the um, western areas of the Pacific Plate. Uh, let's see, some older movement quakes there it looks like across the Filipino Plate. Although there's a 5.3 up here. Let's see what this one is. Uh, USGS reporting this as a 4.8 earlier this afternoon uh, around the um, Japan area. Looks like it's just offshore here. Uh, some movement out here across the uh, area of China. Extreme western areas of China looks like. Uh, well, hard to tell on this map. Maybe crossing the border here in the other countries. But uh, for the most part, these are just some uh, fours and uh, some... Some moderate movement going on out there. There's that earthquake in Iran from earlier this morning, a 5.0. Uh, let's see what else we got here on the Earthquake 3D globe. See if anything major is going on here. Um, doesn't look like it. The Atlantic Ocean is awfully quiet for the most part now, except for some activity up there around the Iceland region. Some twos and threes stirring up there, it looks like. Let's see here. I'll double check the west coast here real quick. I want to see if we had anything above 2.5 uh, for earthquake activity. Looks like a 2.5 right now. Uh, well, within the last hour on the San Andreas Fault near Parkfield. Uh, aside from that, mostly smaller microquakes out there in the region today. All right, uh, let's go ahead and check out space weather. Just going to make this a short video update. Uh, looks like... Um, could that be the filament eruption right there that created this long duration here on the chart? That's uh, pretty crazy looking. 
Uh, let's see what's going on here. The, a filament located in the southeast quadrant lifted off this evening, uh, beginning earlier. Uh, coronal mass ejection, CME, will likely be produced, but should be directed mostly south of the Earth-Sun plane, or sun line. Uh, it should also be noted that a separate eruption off the east limb occurred at nearly the same time this event produced a CME that is now just becoming visible to the, uh, the latest imagery here. Uh, but it looks like all of these events are not Earth-directed, so I don't think we'll see any uh, changes here as uh, far as activity goes uh, in terms of space weather uptick. Uh, right now, looks like 85% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, X flare around 5% chance. Let's go ahead and check out these uh, images here of the sunspot magnetic cores here. And, um, well, I had my hopes up for this region down here. Uh, it's still somewhat complex, but it doesn't look like it has uh, advanced any. If anything, it looks like it's uh, uh, fairly stable for the most part, uh, in terms of complexity within the magnetic cores of that sunspot area. And everything up here is just kind of vanished in terms of uh, any complexity signs. We do have a couple sunspot regions around the eastern limb that we'll continue to watch. Uh, 3477 looks like it is just very barely visible here. We'll continue to watch that pretty uh, large sunspot. We'll get a better look at that here in the coming days when it comes to uh, those areas. Uh, not a whole lot of expected solar weather events. As you can see, green across the board with only very minimal chances of auroras. And those are going to be at the uh, higher latitudes there. All right, uh, weather outlook. Let's see if we got anything major going on. Well, we forgot to check Hawaii here. I keep, keep forgetting Hawaii, uh, but it's, let's see what we got here. Pretty calm out there. Look at that. We got a little bit of movement up here around the Mauna Loa area, but this is very deep underneath this area. Uh, 36 to 40 kilometers deep. Uh, there's some activity around the Kilauea crater area, but this is a lot less than what we've seen here over the past couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to go over here and check out the Kilauea volcano instruments and see what we have for the latest activity. And uh, looks like we are on a decline roll here today, uh, mostly trending downward in... Uh, it's going to be deflation. A look at the overall pattern here, though. In the last 30 days, still continues to show some uptick here, but uh, I don't know. We'll continue to watch that, though, and see what happens. Right now, just uh, seems fairly stable in terms of uh, in terms of the activity. Let me see what we got for seismograph stations here. As you can see, not a whole lot uh, showing up here in terms of earthquake activity. A couple here throughout the last 24 hours, but uh, much quieter than what we've seen here in the uh, weeks past. All right, uh, what else we got? Numerical models, check out any weather changes out here. I'm looking for some uh, some low pressure out here along the West Coast. Right now, it's kind of flopped. We got high pressure out here in the West. Cold and snow out there across portions of the, uh, the well, the majority of the Eastern portion of the states here. And we'll put this into motion here and see what we have for the coming days. Looks like, uh, well, kind of hard to tell. We do have some uh, precipitation coming in out here across the West Coast. Uh, total accumulated precipitation. As you can see, a little bit coming into the Pacific Northwest. Not a whole lot, but it's filling in a little bit, uh, which is fine by me. This is till the middle, middle of November. Uh, rainfall accumulation. Uh, a little bit of rain out here. Uh, I'm sure some of this may be snow as well. Uh, but for the west and the Pacific Northwest, quite a bit of rain coming into Seattle area and, and Oregon. Um, here in Northern California, a little spotty, but we'll take anything we can get. Uh, it is our rainy season, starting to be our rainy season, so I'm hoping we'll get uh, some much needed rainfall here as we shoot towards the, uh, the wintertime patterns uh let's see here what else we got um look at the seismograph stations here pretty quiet not a whole lot going on a little spike of an earthquake there at yellowstone uh, lake yellowstone seeing that little spike but nothing big and uh i think that's about it folks hope everyone had a, a very safe and enjoyable halloween um there was actually quite a few people out 
um, tonight where I live uh, compared to years past. So that's good to see the kids out trick-or-treating. Everyone, for the most part, seemed like uh, they were having fun. Got quite a bit of candy here going through it and making sure that uh, it's all safe and whatnot. I do enjoy Halloween, that's for sure, but uh, a little bit tired walking around out there. All right, folks, have a good one. Stay safe, and we will catch you guys back here tomorrow morning sometime. Have a good one.